Aloha, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Syracuse Orange and the Tennessee Volunteers. Dick, you look at this one and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. Syracuse gets the tip and away we go. They go into the low block. Pass down low. There's a, it has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. The Volunteers should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game. And he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Thirdly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The shooting guard with the ball. He drains the shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Nice high post screen. On the run. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The land. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. Smith is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two, and he missed. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. The point guard takes the pass. Robs him of the ball. He quickly brings it up the floor. Marries it home. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Trying to feed the low block for two. And he scores it off the glass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There he is, strips the ball loose. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. 
What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward gets the pass. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. The skip pass is picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Great anticipation defensively. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The power forward takes the feed. He shoots from the angle. Rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast play. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Frustration right there. Pushes it up. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Picked off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He shoots from the elbow. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Intercepted. From the top of the key. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a double team trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He went right through that double team. And let's see if they decide to double next time down. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He intercepts it. Up and inside. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Sucker out of the game, man. He hammers it home. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a double team waiting there. Foul called off the pro hop. Nice move to the hoop. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. 
He sinks it. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny on the ball. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart they work the perimeter the center gets the ball they move it into the front court on the dribble gives it up he pump fakes he's got a nice shot fake foul charge Let's go court set. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. High post player flashing. Takes the pass in the paint. Number four, pump fakes. Goes up for two. And he missed. The lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. When you're one of the top ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. Hey, at the top, you are the hunted, not the hunted. This means that you must bring your A game every day. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take the shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on his shot, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Shooter spotting up on a three. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Number 32 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. He makes it. For two. They let him get into a rhythm. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Sinks the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Goes. Pass. 
Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for the foul. Makes it. Takes away the pass. And back they come the other way. Tries for two. He buries it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects that were saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dump it inside. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Got an open look if he wants it. He blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. In and out. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Nice fake. There's a high screen. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Keep your eye right on the ball here. That's the luxury of the home court advantage. You have the crowd chanting, jumping around, fired up. It is awesome. It really is something, isn't it? the ball. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He draws a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Throws it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. In the paint. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. Beats him to the spot. This is what posters are made from. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive.
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. And a momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks that they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Now the turnaround jumper. And off the mark. Tennessee have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. For the bucket, they still don't score. And the ball goes out of play. Steals a pass. With a deep pass. Goes up for two. Up and in. Here's a double team. And they get the turnover. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Gave it up. Picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Job defensively, they just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He gets the shot to fall. Intercepted. With the fake, he intercepts it. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Opportunity for two for one. Whistle blown. Baskets good and one. That's concentration, baby. He steps up to the line. He gets it to go.
Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Puts up the tray. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Throws up the prayer. Can't get it to go. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers lead by 14. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. Watch here. Having the ball inside like you see in this highlight will take a lot out of a team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Tennessee had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? I think always special when you see David and Goliath. And you know there are a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. Dumps it in. Jumped in front to take it away. The Orange have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Picked out of the air. He shoots from left of the circle. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. And he goes with a spin. I'll tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Fast break opportunity here for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. Schmidt receives the ball. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. the perimeter high post flashes leaning in trying to draw contact Tennessee are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby on the dribble gives it up 
He lets it go. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Up, easy one. The ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? God handles the feed. Double team now, bad angle. Gave it up. In the post. The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. The center receives the pass. He attempts the trifecta. Way off target. Looking for contact. And working around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Takes the pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. There's the trap. He goes for three. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. On the outside, in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Easy one. There's the fake. I wish they had a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Working around the arc. Time to pick up the defense here now. He drains it. Working it around the perimeter. He goes for three. He gets that one to fall. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. High post flasher is open. Puts it up. He gets the bucket. The Volunteers are up by 15. Momentary look from three-point land. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. 
He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the bucket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He attempts the three. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Picked off. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. That's good. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He puts up the three ball. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. Fake. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Stolen ball. And again, they look to run. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Entry pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times. A great post play. He got a chance really to win. Oh. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the favorites tonight have exposed the opponent's weaknesses and capitalized on defensive stops. And what a display and show they put on tonight. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Steals the ball. Historically, it's been the women's team that's gotten most of the attention, but the men's program steadily improving. They're starting to come on, Dick. Hey, well, they've got a new coach and a mentality now, and with all of that, came an exciting new team and a style of play. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hit. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. two and he missed top of the circle they work it around the perimeter he looks for the bomb the volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that is on fire banks handles the pass Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He rejects it. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. On the dribble, gives it up. 
for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Tries for two. Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They'll bring it up. Take it away. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. He takes the three. He buries the shot. He intercepts it. Basic. They work it back to the outside. Jumps into the defender. That was nice. Picks off the lazy pass for the bucket. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Turn a fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes up for two. Syracuse are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Intercepted. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. He's money with a shot. the ball. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. With the shot. Buried it. That's an 11 zip run. Step back out onto the court. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. The land. The orange trail by five. Great defense. They're working around the perimeter. Steals the pass. Here they come now on a turnover. Now the kick out for the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. 
takes away the pass. Length of the floor. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off him. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the pair. First one is no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Misses the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were to coach this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Up fake, harm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Rims out. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Up and inside. In the paint. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And he'll kick it back outside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the line. He makes the first shot. He misses the second. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They gotta start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Dickie's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We're gonna move it around the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. Block shot. The ball goes out of play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Picks off the pass. For two. Easy one. On the outside, working it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Ten seconds to put up a shot. They work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A.
One on the shot clock. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. He buries it. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. It's stolen. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go quick side to Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Just about ready for play to resume. Fake. And I think right now I gotta box it. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And the clock stopped with a foul. Foul, man, that stops the clock again. And yet another foul. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the line. Misses. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. They work it around the arc. He attempts a jump hook. They have to foul to send them to the line. I hope they miss. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Foul shot is not good. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Way out on top, controlling the ball. No good. Tennessee played well against a good team tonight for the win. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.